the baller std here it is in its final baller form i'll show you what i mean in a second but yeah in this video i'll be showcasing it i'll be customizing it this will be the final vehicle i'll be showcasing and customizing before the release of the actual vehicles themselves now the baller name has definitely been stretched out amongst a lot of cars in gta so we start off with the baller and then it can get confusing because this one is also called the baller then to make it a bit more confusing got the baller le then we have the baller le armored then we have the baller le long wheelbase so LWB. Then we have the Baller LE Armored Long Wheelbase. It gets silly. <laughs> but yeah, then we get to a more subtle name, the Baller ST, which was the latest arrival before, of course, the Baller STD. I'm not sure why Rockstar did that, why they stretched out the brand so much. So if we ignore the old gen Baller, we have six of the same model ballers in different forms and of course now we've got the baller std so let's get into the baller let's modify it and it's strange that rockstar went with this approach because they went from using the same model again and again to a nearly duplicated range rover <laughs> so let's start off we have arch covers and we have these little extended arches uh with different colors and yeah so it's i think the exact same extended arches yeah i won't moan about it this time because i seem to be doing that in every video i keep moaning about rockstar having the same modifications in so many different forms and as i've said in previous modification videos i will be in this video putting modifications that i may not like and then i'll save my kind of taste for when the car comes out so i'll put the modifications i want when the vehicle releases so i'll go with the theme of carbon trim i think okay okay so the front trim also changes with the trim options here so you might want to go for secondary trim or even black trim because i'm pretty sure if you went for secondary trim you'd make it black anyway the secondary color i'm going with carbon trim that seems probably probably the most common choice then we'll go with front splitters or front bumpers but it's front splitters oh my god <laughs> even these even these tiny splitters have actual rods on them very strange indeed very strange indeed adjustable splitters on a range rover <laughs> but i will be going for the most aggressive modification which is the bottom which is the one that has the adjustable splitters rear bumpers Ho oh <laughs> i have to eat my own words here because i did just say that i will be going for modifications i don't usually go for well this this part seems wrong i don't know comment in the comment section if you think any of these actually suit i think the most subtle will have to be the street diffuser which um yeah i'm not too happy about it but it's not about me it's not about me exhaust modifications uh we have i i like the way they seem into the bumper like it looks classy uh <laughs> that doesn't that definitely doesn't look classy uh we have <laughs> round bore exhaust okay okay oh no not too bad not after those other options anyway but it seems these tips seem just i don't know too small they seem like they need a surround like someone's actually removed the exhaust tips and they're the inner tips um and then we go with typical rockstar pixelated exhaust again it's silly it's silly how they're doing that on new models but i think everyone either pick this exhaust or you know what they're gonna pick this exhaust option hood we have okay you can, it's weird that Rockstar are doing that now. They're having more sportier hoods as a stock option. And then the smoothened out option, or in the wording here, flat hood as a second option. We have vented hoods. We have, oh, we have the actual carbon hood, like the SPRs. And vented rally hood. Okay. Oh, uh, what would be the most common option? Probably, that's an, that's an option I'd go for, actually. So... Let me not pick a good option I'd go for. I'd, let, let's pick this option here. Livery options. Oh. Yeah. Uh, a bit out there for a Range Rover. But it's not something I would be surprised to see if I saw it on a Range Rover. Um, we've got some more. How many different stripes have we got? Okay, we've got similar modifications to the actual baller. Or to a lot of British cars in the game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm seeing the common theme from other British luxury vehicles in the game. Oh, they have a gold version. Um, yeah, we went from quite subtle. Well, it wasn't so subtle, but Republican Space Rangers. Uh, yeah, uh, 
it's weird this mod it's not too overly cluttered like it's quite simple yeah it's kind of unique it's kind of nice uh we have we have the flint racing hmm this one's okay to be honest and i probably see this as a quite a common option mirrors we have secondary stock we have carbon we have black stock Ooh, nice we have more of a sportier kind of mirror so we have two mirror options in all the different varieties and i'm gonna pick carbon mudguard shall we put one on shall we not yeah well let's just put it on respray what should we go for this all right, i don't know if bleached brown was a good option but i've gone for it ah you can change the in color of the trim that's good that's good i think white will do ice white but ice white isn't so ice white it looks like the, these seats have been sat in for like 20 years roof we have okay full primary roof full secondary full carbon well i had false hope there like i was there like oh we got roof options we'll have some rails or something no we just have different colored roofs spoiler um yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure we can match the roof here with oh yeah we can we can so we have the same smoothened out spoiler and then we have the carbon and then we have the black version and then we have something slightly more aggressive uh, the secondary carbon so i will be putting carbon but let's have a look at all of them first um uh, slightly more aggressive hang on let's see the difference between this one and that one okay yeah i see it i like that i like the fact that they've gave us such a subtle modification like they've made it slightly more aggressive and it's probably the max amount i would like oh never mind we have another <laughs> we have another option <laughs> oh we what what i i don't get it we have a wing that is you know mounted on the rear frame but then why do we have release pins for the huh let's go for <laughs> uh let's go for the oh my okay it's nice to see that they've added all these modifications differently like they've not just retextured them all i don't know that's just so wrong look at this <laughs> it's like a it's like an f1 spoiler can i not open the trunk after this right uh <laughs> yeah i put it on oh yeah i remember this getting so low to the ground it's crazy what it can do uh i do not like the fact that it's got camber uh i will be going for one i think it just looks a bit too ridiculous but again this is realistic because uh, they do come with air suspension and they do get quite low as well and i think that is it um i say that is it uh, <laughs> let me let me try opening the trunk right oh ah oh, wait so it probably doesn't open but obviously i've got a mod menu so it forces it open ah oh, it would have been nice to see like the split trunk instead but Right, now that I've figured out the trunk thing doesn't work in my mod menu, let me go for something a bit more normal. <laughs> yes, normal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, you'll have to watch this torturously for a bit. <laughs> it looks stupid. It looks like a toy car. It looks so wrong. So many apologies, many apologies. Some of you may be eating. Whole elegance and just lux luxury has been removed because of this one spoiler. This one spoiler has ruined this vehicle. <laughs> but do you know what? This is a really good handling SUV. Yeah, this is... Wow, okay. Yeah, it, it handles really well. Must be to do with the low suspension as well. It's got a lower center of gravity. I've got a massive wing on this thing. But it definitely handles well for an SUV. Too well, in fact. I feel like there's so many people that are kind of excited for this vehicle. And um, when I showcase it, I have to put these stupid modifications on. Yeah, it's definitely a car that, um, you know, you should be excited for. I will be buying this. I think it's really cool. And I think, it, you know, finally, finally, they updated the baller. And they actually over-delivered, I think. I think they over-delivered. They gave a great model of the baller. And yeah, should you buy it? I think so. I think, why not? 1.7 million. I... Yeah, I think it's worth it for, you know, today's pricing in GTA. The price everything costs normally now is quite a lot. So, yeah, I'm not shocked that it costs 1.7 million. Vehicle to buy, a vehicle to look forward to, a vehicle to save up for. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. See you guys in the next one.